Hi, it's Mr. Clifford. It's time for the most important concepts in macroeconomics, GDP. Now, every country wants growth, right? Every country wants to grow better, do better, have low unemployment, and grow year to year to year so they have more stuff, they have happier citizens. That's important. How do you measure it? GDP, gross domestic product. Gross domestic product is the dollar value of all final goods and services produced in a country's border in a given year. What? What was that? Dollar value. It's measured in dollars. It's not the number of stuff we made, the number of chickens and cars and houses. It's not that. It's the dollar value of those things. We said it's final goods. We don't include something called intermediate goods. I'll explain in a minute. In its own borders means an American company in another country, let's say Ford produces something in Germany, cars in Germany, that counts towards the German GDP, right? And if Mercedes are built here in the United States, that counts towards the United States GDP. All right, in a given year, self-explanatory, it's in one year's time. Even though GDP is looked at every three months, it's basically measuring it in one year. GDP is important because you're going to be using it for the rest of the semester, so pay attention. GDP is made up of four components. It's the most important equation. You've got to memorize it. It's right here. Bam! That's it. All right? It's C plus I plus G plus XF. This equals GDP. There's only four entities that can buy stuff on our economy, right? There's only four different groups that can buy stuff. There's people, you and me, consumers. There's companies, businesses, which is called investment. There's the government that buys stuff, and there's other countries that buy stuff. That's it, C-I-G-X-N. In the United States, this is a negative number because we import more than we export. All right, does that make sense? These are the four components or things that GDP is made up of. Now, what's not included in GDP? Take a look. Right here. There's three key things you need to know are not included in GDP. The first one is intermediate goods. Okay, intermediate goods are goods that are involved in the production of final goods. For example, let's say a car company produces a car, and when they produce that car, there's a stock radio in that car that they paid, let's say, $100 for. That $100 for that radio does not count towards GDP because it's an intermediate good. Right? If we counted it, it would be double counting. There would be the price of the car and on top of another $100. But that $100 is inside the price of the car. The next thing is non-production transactions. There are certain things in the economy where that transfer hands all the time. Stocks, bonds, ownership of houses. Right? So you own a house, now I buy it from you, now I own the house. Nothing was produced. And if it wasn't produced, it doesn't count towards GDP. A good example of this is used goods. Used goods that are purchased by another person those products count for the year they were produced. That's the GDP accounts for it, the year they're produced, not when they're sold again. All right, last one, non-market activities. All right, some things are happening in our economy that are not inside the traditional economy, and we can't count those in GDP, right? So there's people who are selling and buying drugs. There's all sort of labor being done under the table. That doesn't count towards GDP. Let's say a woman has a problem with her plumbing, and she calls a plumber. The plumber comes to her house, and he fixes the problem, right? That counts towards GDP. Now, let's say she falls in love with the plumber, they get married, and a year later, the same problem happens with the plumbing, and he fixes it, right? And it's in their house that they own together. Does that count toward GDP? No. It's called household production, right? That he's doing that as part of his family job, not as part of his work job. And so the same job sometimes counts toward GDP, and sometimes doesn't. Okay, don't forget to watch the next video. Till next time.